Hi guys, hope you enjoyed Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the very short amount of time we had with it. I mean, it would have been a good game if it went on longer, hmm? So this let's play I did back then when I was a little paranoid and paranoia caused me to delete it regrettably, but now I can start all over again with my better camera. I feel like we're doing a bunch of let's plays with my better camera now. Especially Skyred Sword, because Skyred Sword was horrible. Look at that. Maybe sometime. But to celebrate our lo our late celebration of summer Mario Sunshine. Summer Welcome intended game. Now look in the background, there's a little black guy racist running back there. That black guy is going to be very important. Oh, there he is again. Yeah, now we're about to see him up close. This game really stands out among other Mario games. One thing, voice acting. You'll be amazed, this game has voice acting, and uh... Other Mario games don't. They only have a little bit, and it's usually Peach, little brat. I just realized, uh, due to the move, my camera does not have the little things keeping it down anymore. So this is the file I did in my original Let's Play of this. It was 118. And this is the one I had a long time time ago where I got 100% because I always get 100%. Uh, yeah, the options. Some titles and stuff. Look at this one first. Look at my awesome scores. As you can see, uh, there's two levels where you can get 999 coins. Uh, yeah. I like to get the highest scores I can, you know? It's a funny story when I went through to find this game out of my... out of my boxes. We haven't unpacked all our games yet. <laughs> I'll tell you about it uh, me later. I'm gonna forget about telling it to you. Yeah, you go to Delfina next summer. <laughs> hey, be careful, I have a bad feeling about this. So it's basically a sequel to Mario 64, except there's a whole new type of gameplay. We're gonna find out what that is right now. Power up complete. Thank you for purchasing this item from Gad Science Incorporated. Preparing to register customer information, scanning and classifying subject data. Subject identified as Mario, resident of the Mushroom Kingdom, data storage complete. I am Flood, a flash liquidizer ultra dousing device. I hope to be of assistance. Proceeding with user instruction. Use the R button to shoot water from my cake. Thank you. 
if you press the R button all the way down, you can stop and shoot. You can then use the control stick to aim in any direction. Press the X button to switch to the hover nozzle. You can then press the R button to hover in the air for a short time. If this tank is empty, no water can be sprayed. To refill tank, enter a body of water and press the R button. Instructions complete. Proceed. This body of water has to be big enough. And you can't replay cutscenes in the game, so they ask you to hear it right now, but you'll learn on the way. Okay, a little trivia about these little marks. These are little marks you'll encounter throughout the game. Now, the ones that are on the wall, if you put it out, you can put them out faster with the hover nozzle than you could the regular one. But there are marks on the ground, you'll put them out faster with the regular than the hover nozzle. That's how these work. But this one is a different matter because it's a goop. And throughout most parts of the game, you'll put out goop basically. I saw a trailer for this game on YouTube. It was so ridiculous. Like, they really intend this for little babies, but. A little baby ain't gonna figure all these puzzles out. It's like Zelda. This is a little mini boss. There's three types of this piranha, and this is the only red piranha. For this one, you can keep continuously spraying him, and he'll never shield his mouth, and he'll keep his mouth open for attack. He didn't work out as you saw, so they never bring him back. But we do encounter his goop again, which is another type of sub-boss. And here's our primary collectible of the game, a Shine Sprite. Yeah, no stars, because stars are cliche. And there's another collect- the two other collectibles are yellow coins and blue coins. We'll get more on this later. I don't think there's one person out there who hasn't played this game. Cops have funny music. As you are no doubt aware, someone has been senselessly defacing Fair Isle Delfino using some paint-like substance. The accused is charged with polluting our beautiful home, and yes, endangering our very way of life. Indeed, how can one not be aware of what is going on? Though it is daytime in Delfino Plaza, our poor residents tremble beneath the veil of darkness. Clips. Expert shine scholars have determined that this darkness has arisen because all of our guardians, the shine sprites, have vanished from their gathering spot at the shine gate. The reason? It's quite obvious. This horrible graffiti Let's is... Must be a very crime. intricate topic if they have scholars Behold for it. a sketch of the perpetrator based on eyewitness descriptions. The truth is obvious. The guilty party sits among us. It is none other than Mario! Objection! Overruled! I judge the defendant guilty as charged. I hereby order the defendant to clean this entire island. Until Isle Delfino is completely free of his vile handiwork, Mario shall not be allowed to leave. Court adjourned! And they set up an invisible barrier around the island so he can't leave. <laughs> Data analysis verifies that the island's inhabitants are indeed troubled by pollution, but the pollution itself is not the main problem. Mario, you witnessed this object at the airstrip, correct? It is a shine sprite. Shine sprites are the source of power on Isle Delfino. 
They used to gather in great numbers at the Shine Gate. It's more than you the see there. The incident has polluted the island, and most of the Shine sprites have fled. There is no longer any power to support the peaceful lifestyle of the islanders. It is most pitiable. The only way to ensure the return of the Shine Sprites is to keep the island from becoming any dirtier. The perpetrator is likely at work even as we speak. And you, Mario, are being treated as a criminal. Tomorrow we must do our best to resolve this situation. You really don't need to hear that again. It's basically do missions, pick up collectibles, usual platformers. Go straight to the place. You can't miss the mess now. Your first job's to get rid of all that ugly mess. And remember, we'll be watching you, pal. We'll know if you start slacking off. Guess what? They're not going to be watching us. They're dumb cops. This for regular YouTube, I would have to stop the video right here, because I'm at the 10 minute mark, but I don't have the 10 minute mark anymore! Those Dark Days YouTube are over... Really, the whole situation isn't that bad, because... Considering the island is sunny all the time, you'd want to enjoy the nice little shade. It's just like an artificial eclipse, but the sun is still shining. So yeah, this this big area here is still sunny because we got that one shine sprite. So you can see how much room each shine sprite covers. Before we actually do clean up that goop, there are a lot of shine sprites we can get right off the bat. And you're not supposed to find out about these. You're supposed to stumble upon them. They're this kind of secret shine sprites you're supposed to find on your own unless you look up a guide. So for that reason, I can save time by not saving every time, because, uh, you know, I'll just get a lot of these anyway, a lot of opportunities. And yeah, they're always going to show you a little cutscene of what mission you got to do, and they're going to keep showing it until you, you beat that mission, even if you complete other missions. Well, well, really, that's the case for the hub world, and the actual level, it's, um... You, you, you usually gotta be the only mission there. And these little bonus stages will be a recurring thing. There's two kinds. This is the kind where you get to keep flood, but there are other kinds where you don't get flood, and those are much more challenging. Because frankly, flood breaks the game in regards to platforming. Remember that hover nozzle and all. And really, that slide is no challenge either. You just jump down the whole thing. You, you don't really take much damage. There's a more fun way to do that slide, but you don't you know you don't get anything for it, it's just something to try you out. Um and we'll do it when we go to a certain ability later. <laughs> I like like doing it. Um Yeah yeah. You walk around walk around certain areas, Flood will tell you how to do mechanics like the wall jump or the triangle jump. Even though the triangle jump isn't something you'll be doing much, it's just a little thing. A lot of how to find this blue coin. The blue blue coins are the second collectible, and you'll use them to buy shine sprites from this uh, traitorous islander who's hogging all the shine sprites. So yeah, interesting world story. There's 240 in the whole game, which means you can buy 24 shine sprites of 10 each. All right, now I'm gonna now we're gonna do something a little fun. Uh, as soon as I uh... okay, we gotta catch this guy in the goop. Uh, hope we can catch him in time. 
know what? Uh, we'll, we'll catch him. We'll catch him on the second one. Let's get the shine sprite first. It's like the spin jump he has Mario Galaxy, only this... Well, this doesn't serve as a double jump. Well, then. Now, this one, they intended you to have a certain ability later. But the way they set this up, we can easily get it right now. And I always do. We'll also collect this little collectible. Okay, let's try and catch this guy again. Also, this is the water slide. You spray water in front of you, and slide on it, and you can cover ground a lot faster. And you actually need this in a few parts. And yes, you're able to spread goop around because the only reason, the only way this comes in handy is for certain times like these. We have to trap a certain individual, as the Harry Potter wiki would say. Because you people walk in the group, they get trapped. Lo and behold, you get a blue coin. Later in the game, he would have been on fire and you had to put him out, then he could be a blue coin, but they can't really. But the reactions and the gifts for putting out fire and goop are still the same, so you can cover that guy in goop and he'll give you the reward anyway. It's really funny. Well, well, let's do this. There's not much else we can do right at the moment. Shut up. What's those blue birds up here? There's blue birds and green birds. We kill them, we'll drop uh, coins. Blue ones will drop blue coins. And red ones will drop... Well, I shouldn't tell you that yet. <laughs> we'll get to those later. This is actually uh, kind of funny. Process. It's really cruel because we make, pretty much make those species go extinct. Because bluebirds will never come back. And here's the brown goop piranha mini boss. This type, if you spray too early, he'll shut his mouth. So only shoot. So only shoot when his mouth is open. I played this game a lot as a kid, so I know just about every detail of it. It's uncanny. And the cutscene that bell that I just cleaned is actually goopy because they don't change it. I like how it does all those cutscenes. So this is that mysterious perpetrator. This is Water Mario. 
You call him Shadow Mario, but Shadow, I'd imagine Shadow's to be pitch black like he was in this cutscene. Here he looks, he looks like some kind of water or goopy substance, which makes more sense because he's making all this goop. But the fact that he is made out of water will kind of contradict that whole thing. Also the fact that water hurts him. But not very shadowy, really. So just call him Water Mario. I like Mario Galaxy than Cosmic Mario's. Or the Dark Rayman. Should be a lot of use tools like that. It's not a big a deal. And you will get Son of Beam touching. So I beat him here. But that won't matter anyway. But before we go, though, um, here's another mechanic where you put out certain symbols like this, and then a blue coin will appear out of a similar sim symbol in a, reason a reasonable distance. Because then it'll disappear. And there's always hazards in the way like those, huh? And you can get two blue coins out of these, basically. The symbols can be X's, circles, or triangles. For the M's, you'll just get blue coins right off the bat. But some M's will only appear on certain missions. Depending on the situation. Ding. Right to the big windmill, our first mission.